Hello everyone, welcome to my new pattern making video. In this video, I want to show you how to build a pattern straight on fabric for a turtleneck long sleeve t-shirt. I just built it, you see, on my fabric, but before cutting it, I just want to share it with you so you can do it for your project as well um, without having actual pattern. So grab a measuring tape and just follow me. I will explain it to you step by step how to do it. So first of all, I fold my fabric a half and a half again to, to cut front and back details together. They will be identical only, exception will be around the shoulder line and the neckline. I will adjust it a little bit for, for the back detail after I cut it. Just, just follow me, you, you will see how I do it. So um, then from the, from the very um, bottom edge, I marked the length, the desired length of the t-shirt that I want to make, plus the hemming uh, width. Okay, so in my case, it was 26 and 3 quarters of an inch. In centimeters, it's 68 centimeters. Okay, so I marked it from the bottom all the way here, and I draw a line over here. Then on this line, from the central of the back and of the front, I marked six centimeters over here uh, for the width of the neckline and um, in uh, inches, so two inch and, and uh, one third of an inch, two and one third of an inch. And uh, along of the central of the back, I marked two centimeters and in inches it's three quarters of an inch. You see, a little bit less than one uh, inch. You can actually mark even one inch, it will also work. Okay, let me move it a little bit over here. So, let me show you again. Two centimeters this way, see, and uh, this way six centimeters over here. Okay, so then I connected these two marks with a um, like ground. Uh, with a gradual, then I connected these two marks with a gradual rounded line. From this mark, I also measured the length of my shoulder. My shoulder a little bit longer, like usually it will be around 12 or 13 centimeters, right? Miles 14. It's also better to mark it a little bit longer if you're not sure. And then during the fitting, you can adjust it. I always do fitting with the, any garments with the sleeves. Okay, so I marked on this line 14, 14 centimeters. Yeah, in inches is five and a half inches. Then from this mark, I marked down. You see, I measured down uh, three centimeters. See over here, or uh, one inch and one quarter of an inch. And I marked, you see, the end of the shoulder line. Then I connected this mark, this mark, and this mark. So we have already <clears throat> this part done. Then, look, first of all, I need to mark now the armhole, right? So to mark armhole, you can do it from both sides. You, you can do it from the um, um, waistline up and from the shoulder um, line down. Or you can do it in the both way just to double check that everything is good. So I marked from this, you see, from this point all the way down the, um, the distance from the shoulder to the waistline. Usually it's about 45, 46 centimeters. So you see, my measurement is exactly 46 centimeters. So then, let me open over here so you, you, you can see. So you can see this, this mark, right? So this mark and I mark over here at the same line. And then to mark um, the, the armhole, you see? So you can do it either or just make it a little bit like smaller, like 15 centimeters. It's pretty small already. And you can adjust it, make it deep a little bit during fitting, what I will do. I made it exactly 15 centimeters and um, in inches, it's a six inches and um, all, for, for example, from the waistline up, it's about like 25, could be 26 centimeters, 
so I made it 20, almost 28, see 27 and a half centimeters, and I marked this line over here. And um, again, during fitting you can adjust it, but it's better to make it a little bit uh, smaller and cut it wider after the fitting. Okay, then, so we have already beginning and the end of the armhole, we just need to make this line, right? So you can either, you can measure it on your like body from the, um, let me show you. So you can measure it straight on the body. It's basically from the place where your arm is connected with the body, right? From this part, so I will put centimeter right here and across uh, of the front part all the way here. So I will, I will actually fix it over here, you see, and I will measure it also to the, this point where my arm is connected with the, with the body. See? So 30, 36 centimeters in my case. So if I divide it uh, by half, it will be 18 centimeters. Also, when you're measuring the, um, the height like, of, the, um, of the armhole, you can also measure it this way. Look, you can take um, a ruler, so you will put it across, you see the, the top edge, like at the level of the shoulder line, you see? Like that, exactly at the level of the shoulder line. And over here you can make it, you, you can measure this distance, how long you want it to make. So in my case, I would make it, So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six inches. So it's just backward, okay? Upside down, <laughs> actually. So it's a six inches. Uh, yeah, six inches or 15 centimeters. So let me show how I marked it on the fabric. So here, our um, the width, you see, was six inches. It's actually exactly, you see, over here, or 15 centimeters. And this distance, um, for me, it was 38 centimeters, so a half, it's a 19, you see, it's exactly this, um, this mark, see, 19, over here, exactly. Another way how you can, um, you can mark it, you can divide this distance, you see, between, like, this line, you see, the end of the shoulder line, and the end of the armhole, you can divide it by three. So in centimeters, it's 15 centimeters, or it's a six inches, yeah? So by, uh, on three uh, parts, so, so you will divide it like that. Five, so to here will be 10 and 15. And across of the lower part, so this one line is over here, across of the this mark, you will, mark you see deeper another mark usually it's about three centimeters so you even put three or even four and it is always better to put it a little bit you see wider this part right and then during fitting you can uh, make it a little bit deeper this line right so i mark it three and it actually works perfect exactly 19 centimeters how i measure it on the body okay so then I can connect already these marks and I will also make mark over here, right, for little um, notch over here and over here. You will see because I will have the same notches um, on the um, uh, sleeve cup. So this is what we have. Um, you can measure. You can measure the waistline, or you can just mark it about 45, 44 centimeters and make this line. And this is the bottom line over here. So I just you can either you can connect this just to make it straight, or like in my case I will do it a little bit like um, you know shaped a little bit. So in this mark i will make it just about one and a half centimeter 
see smaller and I will gradually just connect this mark okay I hope you can see it now right and I will also make a mark here at the waistline and so I will cut them now how it is in four layers and then I will separate them and I will adjust just the neckline and the shoulder line and I will cut it with very uh, little um, seam allowances uh, for my overlock um, surgeon machine it's about one fourth of an inch I will also mark the central with a little notch oh, also I didn't um, I didn't mention the width so in my case the width of the fabric was exactly the width that I need so here is the bust circumference divided by four this measurement and this measurement hip circumference divided by four and then you mark it how it is without any allowances um, without any ease i mean um, in my case i didn't add even allowances i just cut it how it is you see so it will be stretching on the body So here is a hip circumference divided by four and here the distance is a bust circumference divided by four. So here making also a little notch and little notches over here and here. Okay. So what I will do next, I will separate now one detail and another. So look, now they are identical, right? But we need to make one detail as a front detail, and this is, will be a back. So a front detail, we just need to make uh, our um, neck uh, hole a little bit deeper at the front. So since this part is already lower for two centimeters, we will make it lower for another six centimeters or two and one third of an inch. Again, you can adjust it, you can make it a little bit wider if you want um, not such a tight around the neck. I just want to be much more like form-fitted, so I will make it just a six. And again, during fitting, you can always adjust it if you don't want to install the, the color. Before fitting, you can try it and, and then adjust it and install the staining color after. Okay, so this is a mark. What I will do, I will just see gradually connect it. It's actually a little bit. Okay, so the front detail is done. make it a little bit wider so now when this one is done now we need to adjust a little bit our back detail and uh, over here you see we need to lower so when we mark it could be two centimeters could be even one and a half centimeter depends on uh, how your shoulder forms uh-huh so so i mark it here 
and then I will connect my shoulder line, you see the end of the shoulder, with this mark. And then we just need to lower, you see, all this line, move it from, uh, from this position to the new position. So um, here it was about two centimeters or uh, three quarters of an inch, even two thirds. We need to lower this mark also for the, the same distance, you see, bound, down. So two centimeters, even a little bit less over here and this is one over here and I connect them also gradually why we do it because normally when we build to separate details we will um, make our back detail and then uh, on the base of the back detail we will raise this part up you see so here we are making it backward we are making first like that, and then we lower because we want this part to cut together, right? So then we can um, make our sleeve detail just over here. So we will not have differences between uh, different levels, right? So then we do it this way, like uh, opposite. So then I connect them together and I can cut them also. So then when we put them like show together, we will see that this line is identical. See? And the front part will be just higher on this distance. See? So it will form a beautiful shoulder line. So now we can cut sleeves. Now I'm gonna explain how I build sleeve over here. And actually I'm I'm still building it, so I wanna just finish it with you. Uh, so I actually will open these details so we can see the, um, the armhole. <clears throat> so what I did first, I measured from the, this line, I measured the length of the sleeve uh, before the cuff. So I will also make a cuff over here. So I just measured it. In my case, I just measured from in, in the maximum how long it, it can be over here, it can fit over here. So. In my case, it's 50 centimeters, or in inches, it's about 20, 20 inches. You can actually see that I moved this mark a little bit higher to make it exactly 20 centimeters, or 20 inches, to fit it right here. And the sleeve cup will go, will fit here because it's also shaped. So then we need to mark the heights of the sleeve cup, and this measurement will be equal to the measurement of the heights of the armhole. So, as you remember, this distance was 15 centimeters, you see, from the end of the, of the shoulder to the end of the armhole. We made it 15 centimeters, in inches it's 6 inches. So, I will mark the 6 inches or 15 centimeters right here, you see, from, the, from this mark of the top of the sleeve. And on this level, you see, I will mark I will mark the width of my sleeve and this measurement will be equal to the half of the um, uh, arm circumference in the widest part just uh, under the armpit so in my case it was exactly 16 centimeters or in um, inches it's like six yeah six and little bit like one one eight of an inch. So I mark this mark. Then in the bottom over here, I I measured like arm. See around this area, not in the very bottom because here we, we will have a cuff. So the cuff will begin from this area. So it's exactly eighteen centimeters or seven uh, seven inches. So. And I, I also divided by half, so seven inches, three, uh, three and a half, yeah, three and a half of an inch, three and a half um, inches, uh, and uh, 18 centimeters, it's uh, nine centimeters over here. Actually, made it a little bit wider. 
Okay, so then I connected, see, this. I just do not want to draw a line, so it will not be visible on the right side. So I just made this dots, okay? And then what we do, we need to connect uh, these two, two marks, see, the top and the width of the sleeve. And then we divide this measurement uh, by three. So it's, uh, let's do 21, so it'll be just easier to divide. Be seven, a little bit more than 14. Eight. And this is a little bit more than, than seven. Okay, so three equal parts. And then what we need to do, along of this mark, we will just build like this line, I will show you now. And But first of all, we need to mark from this line in a 90 degree, you see, line like that, one inch, like two and a half centimeters. Okay. So then I will just gradually connect this mark with this mark, then this mark I will connect with this mark, see? And this mark I will go down and connect with this line. So I will continue this line, first of all, just a like, straight line, and then gradually also connect it with this mark. And uh, in general, because we are doing fitting, and I always recommend you to do fitting, and for now, I'm just making this line according to the constructional rules. But I'm not making this line absolutely precise. I don't spend now time for that, you see? Uh, because after fitting, when we adjust these lines, then we will have precise lines for um, sleeve cup and for the armhole. And then when we adjust, it will fit perfectly. <clears throat> but before that, I'm not wasting time for adjusting it without actually seeing it on the body. And in general, for any garments with the sleeves, I advise you, of course, to do fitting because it will it will help you to fit it in, in the best way, <laughs> right? So, and we want it actually to fit in the best way. So, when I already marked it, I will cut now the sleeve Cup. and then I will adjust a little bit the front part also. So let's me do it now. And I will also cut it with the little um, seam allowances, about one fourth of an inch. And on a sleeve, I will not leave any seam allowances. I want it to be a little bit like a stretchy around the arm. So here, across of these uh, marks, when we divided our sleeve cup on three parts, you see, I will make little notches over here and over here, and also I will mark a central of the sleeve cup. Okay, and then what I will do to form a little difference between a front and back part of the sleeve cup, like that little bit. You see, I just shift it a little bit. And I will gradually connect these lines all the way over here. So I will also save those notches, you see, and I move them closer. Okay, so this way we have our sleeve. So what I will do, I will 
I will sew this seams first and then I will try it and then I will attach it to the arm holes. So and now on this little leftover fabric I need to feed uh, turtleneck and uh, sleeve cuffs. And uh, so what I can see now, see, I will use only this part with the folding line. Over here I will feed um, one cuff, here will be another cuff, right? I will measure it now, but it should fit here and here. And on this part, I will fit a turtle neck, like standing collar over here. Okay, guys, so it took some time, but I was able to cut my two cuffs and one standing collar. Of course, if you have more fabric, you would like to make um, cuffs with the, with the folding line, just as, a, as a one detail. But because I was needed to cut one piece on one side and another another layer on the other side of the leftover fabric, so I made it in a, like in different layers. Also, if you would like, you can make taller the standing collar. In general, you can see over here if I fold it right here. So this is, will be the part that will be connected with the sleeve. Okay. So this is how I will connect it. I will connect them be between each other, connect them to the sleeve. Um, I will I will sew shoulder seams. I will also sew the collar, attach it to the neckline. I will uh, sew side seams and then I will do fitting. Also, if you need help with the fitting, just let me know if you want to see how I do fitting for myself for this t-shirt, how I uh, adjust uh, this area, how I fit sleeve into the armhole and uh, how I adjust these lines on the sleeve cup and on the armholes before I insert sleeves into the armholes. Let me know. I will also share this with you. I know there are a lot of questions about this uh, part, this area of garments. So if you need uh, an extra help, just let me know. And plus, I know it's much harder to do it for ourselves, right? Much easier to do for somebody else when we have two hands and we can clearly see on the back, on the front and uh, on the side how we pin those um, uh, sleeves. But for ourselves, it's much harder to do, right? So if you want to see how I do it for myself, you're welcome. Just ask me in the comments to this video and I will share with you as well. I hope this entire pattern making process wasn't too difficult. And I really hope I explain it to you uh, well so you can follow this guidance and make garments uh, for yourself um, also. If you have any questions, of course, ask me. I will be happy to guide you through um, unclear moments and help you to uh, mm -hmm, and help you to build it also. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. And uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to put like, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like that. Let me know if you like also workshops like this with a easy uh, pattern making or different uh, sewing techniques. So it will help me to create a better content for you. So let's communicate. Keep in touch and um, looking forward to talk to you soon. Have a good day and bye-bye.